Hello, I'm going to give you a tour of my 21 games consoles that I have in my living room. Let's begin. So first off, this isn't in any particular order. This is the original fat Xbox One. I'm not really a fan of its aesthetic myself, but there it is. Next up is the much more aesthetically pleasing upgrade. The Xbox One S, far better, far better looking. Here we have my PS4. I've not got the PS4 Pro yet, but I will be getting it at some point. And my main TV, which is a 49 inch curved 4K HDR Samsung with Star Trek The Next Generation currently paused on Netflix. Let's go over to the little Nintendo shelf. This is the 1986 NES, the Super Nintendo. I've had that for over 20 years now. My Ice Blue N64, my GameCube, and the Nintendo Wii. Down here we have the Slim PS1, the PS1. Slim PS2 Xbox 360 with HD DVD player PlayStation 1 fat PlayStation 2 fat the original Xbox which has been modded blue fan at the back Blue LEDs soldered in, which will kick in in a second. There we go. And it also has a 250 gigabyte hard drive in it, which has a bunch of games stored on it. The Wii U, PS3, the 1972 Magnavox Odyssey, the first video games console, a 1977. Atari 2600, the original, the Sega Master System, Mark 1, a Mark 1 Mega Drive, and the Dreamcast. Over here we have my PC game collection, but that is for another time. Here we have my Game Boy. In fact, let's open this up right now. Where is that? There, there it is. The original Game Boy. And over here we have a turquoise Game Boy. A Game Boy with a glow-in-the-dark shell. A Game Boy with a see-through shell. And a yellow Game Boy color in there. My see-through Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance SP. NES edition, which can be opened. Very nice. And my refurbished, let's get a better view of this, Game Boy Advance, which has a replacement shell, replacement buttons, a glass screen, and a backlit LCD. See, these were never backlit, much to the chagrin of everyone. So, someone's modded this, well, modded this and then I've brought it from eBay to have a proper backlit screen, which looks so very nice. It means you can be up to the late hours playing Pokemon. This is my Nintendo DS, and that's an empty DS pack. This bad boy out as well. Standard issue white DS. Very nice. Here we have my PS2 game collection. All the classics. All the classics. Well, a lot of the classics. Including the rather odd Linux for PS2. Here we have a PSP. In a rather nice little case. The original black PSP. PS Vita, 
second version they made. Xbox 360 games. Again, this isn't really any order. A DVD and some HD DVDs. Xbox 360 games. SNES games. SNES games. SNES games. NES games. NES games. A couple of GameCube games. And up here we have the PS1 collection. A lot of good classics, a lot of favourites, and a few more of the PS1 collection. Up here we have the Xbox collection. Now all of these games are on the Xbox hard drive that I have installed, but I like to have the discs because the artwork is nice, such as... Mm. Dreamcast collection, PS3 games, PS4 games, my Blu-ray stack, there's my white PSP, and here's some old PDA thing where the case won't open, there we go, that's pretty old school, some Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy games, Atari 2600 games, and some Magnavox stuff. PSP collection, N64 games, Wii games, Mega Drive games, uh, Master System games, my Wii U game on its own at the moment, need to expand that. And a Sega Saturn game. I should probably get a Sega Saturn at some point. And of course, very important, very important. And over here we have a couple of hats. Oh yeah. Press like.